It's time for The Breakaway, presented by Frontier Communications. Diego, you mentioned to the guys over there at the desk that you love to read. We all know that. You love theology, philosophy, learning more about yourself, connection to the world. When did that start for you? I mean, I always liked it, but uh, uh, it started probably more, uh, you know, in, in, with more power on me when I was probably 19, 18 years old, 20 years old, when I started, when I became a professional soccer too, more uh, mature person, you can say, right? <laughs> and, you know, to give more time for me and, and, and uh, to know myself better, my faith better, and, and, and the world better, right? And you mentioned we were talking off camera before about when you really started to question those things and want to learn and that it was your time at Porto when you met with a sports psychologist, Luis Andre, something that you said was part of the program there. What did that entail? Was it mandatory? How, uh, what did you get out of it? Yeah, it wasn't mandatory, but it was a great addition for me as a professional and as a human too, right? Uh, Luis Andre, we got you know, very good conversations. We spent like two hours with a coffee or mate and uh, watching games, you know, thinking about the game and obviously thinking about what, what you think during the game, which is the important thing. It was, it was great. It wasn't mandatory, but I got a great relationship with him. He was a very smart people and, and, and you always want to be with, with smart people, right? And, and, yeah. and, 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 and learning from them. Had you ever thought about the game that way before meeting with him, or was that something new? Never. It was totally new for me, and it was great because uh, you know at that time I had probably five or yeah five or six years as a professional. I was you know I started very young, yeah. but still I, I never think the the game in that way, right? And uh, you know you got to have a mindset uh, on how important is that to to play. Right, and when you're a kid, you never think about that. But it was great for me, and I think I improved a lot as a professional with him. So, how does that kind of carry over to now? What are some of the benefits that have lasted to this point in your career from that time with him? You still, I mean, you still try to do things that uh, he he asked you to do and he proposed you to do because uh, that's the thing that every game you have to you have you have to keep doing it. It's not easy. It's easy to to say that the theory is easy, but at the moment when, when you know our game is very dynamic, sometimes you're tired, sometimes you you don't feel well, and and I mean, what you think is very important. We touch the ball like a minute and twenty seconds total in a game, and then you're ninety minute running and thinking. So what you think is very important. So as someone, I'm not a professional soccer player. I don't know what it's like to be out there in those moments. How far ahead can you think? Are you capable of thinking out there on the field? The idea is to think right things. I mean, the <laughs> idea is not to think a lot. I mean, it's not to think in the result. It's not to think what happened before. It's not to think what will happen. It's to think now what you had to do and what is better to be, you know, in what position is better for you to be, and what movement is better. Think about your teammate, think about your, the ball, your, the rival, but it's, it's, it's all about the moment, and then when the, the game finishes, you can, you can scout it. <laughs> when you say think only of the good, that means you have to learn to brush off maybe a mistake, a bad moment out there. How long did it take you to be able to do that? You're a competitor. Yes, uh, it's, it's, sometimes it's really hard for us, and it depends the day, right? But the idea is in a couple seconds just uh, to forget it, and uh, actually less than that. I mean, as, <laughs> as, as, you know, as fast as you can is better. Have you worked with any sports psychologist since Luis, or has he been enough for you? No, 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 no. That's, that, that was enough for me, and, uh, but I, I like it. I mean, I like it. It's really hard because the good point there it was the language. I mean, with right. the language, you can understand much better with him, and... and it's easier and you know in English for me when I arrived here it wasn't easy. So someone that comes to mind when we talk about your time with Luis, another Argentinian, Fernando Signorini, who has worked with Messi, Maradona, he's somebody I know he wrote a book and I apologize if the translation isn't right but football called to rebellion. Is that the proper translation into English? Yeah or? it's kind of that yeah. But so he's somebody that really believes in the power of the mind and how that's pretty much makes the great players 
great and separate from the pack. Have you read, a, a that book, and what yeah. do you like about him? Yeah, I read that book, Florencia gave it to me, and, uh, and he's great. He's a, I mean, he's, uh, he's, he's huge. I mean, yeah. he's huge. Uh, a great person, and I, I had the opportunity to meet him. You did? Yeah, to meet him, uh, and I have a good relationship with him, but he's uh, very experienced, as you say, a long career, but more than that. I mean, he's, he is very creative. I mean, the mo <laughs> he's very focused on to be creative, you know, how to be better in this role. I mean, soccer is a big world, so mm -hmm. you have to be creative on that. You don't have to copy, you don't have to, you can learn from them, from people, right? But to be creative, he's very focused on that, and to be original, right, in the way you work. And, and, and that's, that's a big point of his uh, philosophy, you can say. When did you get to meet him? I met him with a, we, we ate dinner with a friend, we have, you know, between us. And uh, yeah, we had a like three hours conversation. Wow. He's, you mean you? I mean, I didn't say anything. I showed oh. her. <laughs> You're learning, always uh, learning, learn, Diego. Always learning from that people. Well, thank you so much for coming on Timbers and Thirty this week. You were always one of the best guests. I know we all enjoyed it. I hope you have a great weekend at home, some rest with the family, and I'm sure some good books too. Thank you so much.